What in the pitch perfect is going on? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. Welcome. You can find me over on Instagram and TikTok at your voice teacher. It's really fun, you should go follow me over there. You can also join my email list in the link in the description. I send super fun emails and you're gonna find out what I'm working on behind the scenes over here in Hannah HQ. That makes it sound like I have a team of people with me. It's just me. And you can check out my new singing course in the link in the description. Reclaim your voice if you're looking for more control and consistency in your voice. Okay, enough about that. Guys, today, the day has come. I am reacting to Descendants, a Disney Channel original movie that is very popular, Descendants. I have never seen this ever. I don't know anything about it. I know that it's about villains. Also, I know it has Dove Cameron in it and I really like Dove Cameron, but that's it. So this is going to be super fun. If you want to check out any of the other videos that I've done about musical episodes, you can check out my video about Grey's Anatomy. You can also check out the video I did on the Once Upon a Time musical episode and the Flash musical episode. Yeah, it's a great time. Go check out my other videos. Before we jump into the video, we get to talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. Guys, look how cute my new glasses are. I love how a cute pair of glasses can complete an outfit and these glasses are doing it for me. Oh my gosh, who is she? The selection at GlassesUSA.com is unbeatable. They have over 9,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, meaning you are sure to find the pair that is perfect for you. And I didn't just find one pair, I found three. You guys are gonna have to tell me which of the three is your favorite. So this is the first pair. I love how lightweight they are. These ones are really fun. They're giving me nerdy girl early 2000s and she takes her glasses off and like, <gasps> She was hot the whole time, except hot with the glasses on. These sunglasses are doing something to me. I feel so powerful, like a hot 90s mom. I mean, oh my gosh. I am feeling dangerously confident. Not only is the selection at GlassesUSA.com incredible, but the price point? A complete pair of glasses starts at only $30, and free basic prescription lenses are included with every frame, so you can look cute and be able to see at the same time. What a dream! And those free basic prescription lenses? Anything but basic. GlassesUSA.com's lenses are of the same high quality you would find at any glasses store. They can handle any type of prescription and offer personalized lenses based on your needs. These frames? I'm obsessed with. I was kind of nervous to buy them at first. I had never worn frames like this before. But with the virtual try-on tool, I was able to see what they would look like on me without having to leave the comfort of my own home. Also, I was able to get these glasses in my unique prescription and with advanced blue light blocking lenses. If you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time looking at a screen. My entire job is online, so blue light blocking lenses are essential for me. And GlassesUSA.com's lenses are state of the art. They block up to 95% of harmful blue light and are made from MR8, which is an ultra durable material, making them much stronger than other lenses. Using blue light blocking lenses during screen time helps reduce eye strain, decrease headaches, improve sleep, and increase productivity. Literally everything I need in my life. Thank you very much. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com is able to offer prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses for up to 70% off retail prices. Now you can shop for all your eyewear needs at affordable prices without leaving your home. And I am an indoor cat, so I don't like leaving my house pretty much ever. Use the links in the description to check out the selection at glassesusa.com and find the perfect frames for you. This is my hood. No magic. No Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi? It's rude. This child's eyes are very beautiful. Look at his green eyes. Dang. And yes, I said child. He looks like he's 15. He's turning 16. That's the blue fairy from Once Upon a Time. That's why when I saw her, I was like, I don't like her. Why? Because she's the blue fairy. Go watch my video about the Once Upon a Time musical episode and you'll know why I don't like the blue fairy. I've decided that the children on the Isle of the Lost be given a chance to live here in Oridon. It's a very kingly proclamation. I like it. Give the children a chance. They didn't do anything wrong. Who were their parents? Corella Deville, Jafar, Evil Queen, and Maleficent. Oh, <laughs> Maleficent! This is so exciting. Dad, their children are innocent. Don't you think they deserve a shot at a normal life? Come on, Dad. 
<laughs> Wait, is that a workout machine in the back? Like just doing some chest presses? I mean, that's fine. Working out is very healthy. What is wrong with me? Working out is very healthy. Oh, it just seems so out of place in the background of this room. I'm bored. Give me the villains. Here we go. They say I'm trouble. They say I'm bad. They say I'm evil. And that makes me glad. A dirty no good. Down to the bone. I already have chills. Nightmare. Can't take me home. I'm rotten to the core. Core. Rotten to the core. This is a banger. This is so good. I love it. This is very sad though. The implications of this island that they were banished and all of these people are now living in the slums. That's terrible. This kingdom just said, I don't want to see you people and then just put them on an island by themselves. They should revolt. <laughs> I want to start a political uprising against this kingdom. It's not okay. I'm glad that these kids get to go out of this island though, although they say they're rotten to the core. But that's exciting. I love it. This kingdom sounds boring. Yes, a dance number. <laughs> This is legit. I love it. <laughs> That's terrible. Dove, give that back. Stealing candy mail. <laughs> it's Kristen Chenoweth. Okay, I did know she was in this. She looks great. How often does Kristen Chenoweth play a villain? Has she ever played a villain before? Look at Kristen's eyes. They're mesmerizing. It's all about world domination. Knuckleheads! She's a good villain. I like her. Also, you Dove looks go, great with purple hair. You will find the fairy godmother and you will bring me back her magic wand. Scaling staring contest. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I win. Evie! Hold on. I'm wearing jeans. Why am I wearing jeans? To watch... Oh, you guys don't know that I'm wearing jeans. Why? I should be wearing sweatpants. Anyway, first of all, the evil queen's costume, it's not as good as Maleficent's. It's not as good as any of them, actually. It's not great. I'm, I'm bummed about that. The kids' costumes, though, super good. Also, I don't know what just happened. Like, their eyes were glowing. Is that like a magical thing? Were they having a staring contest? Because it kind of seemed more like just whoever broke eye contact first. Carlos, they have dogs in Oregon. Oh, no, I'm not going. Oh. Is he scared well, of dogs? I'm going either. I need him to stock the shelves in my store. He does not have Jafar energy. People used to cower at the mention of our names. Disney really knew that Descendants was going to be a hit because the budget in this movie, so much higher than other DCOMs. Like the set right now, Maleficent's costume alone, that's probably the entire budget of Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. Right there in her costume. This is your magic mirror. No, yeah, it ain't what it used to be. Mm. Then again, neither are we. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. Evil Queen. Is that the witch from Hocus Pocus? Oh my gosh, it is! I knew it. Ooh, I love her. The future of the free world rests on your shoulders. Don't blow it. No pressure. All right, I'm gonna make a prediction. We love a good love story. And every Disney Channel original movie's gotta have a little bit of a love story. They're really focusing in on Mal. She's gonna fall in love with the prince who was getting fitted for that suit. I'm saying it right now. They're gonna fall in love. They've got to. Oh, these. It's salty like nuts, but it's sweet. Like, I don't know what. This is a problem in the kingdom. In the slums, they've never even had candy before. Like, the kingdom just banished them and then didn't give them any sort of, like, funding. What about social programs? Like, what is going on in that island? Like, they don't have the resources. They're probably not being very well educated. And so, of course, they're going to perpetuate the same things as that their parents did. Here we are, the vicious cycle of poverty. What just happened? <laughs> it's a yellow brick road. <laughs> that animation, green screen, it's not too bad. It's a lot better than Once Upon a Time screen screen. <laughs> it's so cute. They're all wearing cardigans. That's how you know they're good. The fairy godmother? As in bippity boppity boo? Bippity boppity Did she age backwards? That was a long time ago. And as I always say, don't focus on the past or you'll miss the future. <laughs> That's good advice. This is Audrey. Princess Audrey. 
his girlfriend. <laughs> right, Benny Boo? Benny Boo. This is a momentous occasion. They're gonna fall in love. Called it. Hi, ho. Oh. Evie. <laughs> Evil Queen's daughter. Safety rules for the internet and uh, <laughs> remedial goodness 101. Remedial goodness? Hold on, did he say that was a new class? Let me guess. New class? Oh, okay, because I was gonna say, for a school that's supposed to be full of really good people, like, if you're a good person, you don't need to be, like, told or taught how to be good. You just are good. But he said it was a new class. So, yes, because of the cycle of their parents, these villains' children should probably be taught, like, how to be good. That's great. They gave them a new class. Maybe next they'll give the slums some funding. This is our one chance to prove ourselves to our parents. Girl, you've been here for like three hours. You got time? It sounds like there needs to be a little bit of family therapy. I think all around, but specifically Mal and her mom. She says she wants to prove herself to her mom. Maybe some high expectations that she feels she can't meet. They need to talk it out. Do they have chaperones? Or, come on. Like residential advisors? You know, RAs? I guess if the entire school is full of good people, then maybe they don't need them. But that can't be the point of the movie, right? That people are just good and bad. That's just not how people work. We're gonna find out. Let me let me add another prediction. Not only is Mal gonna fall in love with the prince, I predict the prince is gonna do it first, actually. The prince is gonna fall in love with her. But the moral of the story is that we have goodness in all of us and we don't have to follow in our parents' footsteps. We can break that, that toxicity, that that cycle. You know, we can break that. I am 23 minutes into the episode and talking about some deep stuff. I want them to sing again though. Is it wrong? Is it right? Be a thief in the night, mother. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> don't be so serious, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was once like you, my child, slightly. Hmm? Hmm? What? Now she's here in a different outfit? She looks great. Even better in the all black. Love it. What? I used my head. I love Christian Chenoweth. Now I think it's time you learned what dear old mama said. Don't you want to be evil? Whoa! Oh God, I almost fell out of my chair. Hold on. Sorry. I'm going to need you to do that again, Kristen. Here's the mood change. Don't you wanna be evil like me? Don't you wanna be mean? Don't you wanna make mischief your daily routine? Well, you can spend your life pretending to the poor. I love that they wrote this for Kristen. It's in the sweet spot in her voice. We know Kristen Chenoweth is a pint-sized soprano powerhouse. She is a for high soprano. She has the range of like an angel. She's singing right now in her head voice. So like the middle to upper range in her voice. Actually, since her range is so big, this is probably just right in the middle, <laughs> but it's still her head voice. And she's allowing a lot of vibrato to come through. It's really pretty. And I like the way that she's taking this beautiful soprano sound that we normally associate with like Disney princesses and making it really spooky and creepy. I like it. Build my master plan. If I was Dove Cameron sitting here and Kristen Chenoweth was just around me singing, I'd have the same look on my face. This is so cool! Won't you sing along? Now we're gonna be evil! It's true! Never gonna think twice! And we're gonna be spiteful! Mal, all of a sudden, is just on board. Like that whole song. Up until now, she was just sitting there like, now all of a sudden, she's like, yeah. For sure, want to be evil. Mal's character development, I need to know more about her. She doesn't seem like she wants to follow in her mother's footsteps. I want Mal to like live her own life. Then you should thank your lucky star that you were born the girl you are. The daughter of an evil is just It's a G5. Damn, Kristen. I found the wand. Let's go. Did you make... What? What are they trying to tell me? Was that real? Was that in Mal's head? Was it magic? Is it going right over my head? I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> we saw that coming. They need a new guard for this museum. He's wildly incompetent. Chase me, Carlos! Wait! Stop, Chase! Stop! Yeah. No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. This is 
like the perfect movie for me because I always, always root for the villain. What are these cheerleading uniforms? They have like cheerleading skirts, but then just like a t-shirt? That's not cute. Oh, he's hopeless. He's already so into her. Forbidden love. I love it. I'd rather be pretty. You've got great hair. Beware or swear, replace the old with brand new hair. <gasps> Ooh, look at her. Wow. You almost don't notice your other features anymore. <laughs> Mal, what the f is that supposed to mean? I love a villain and I know that you like being bad, Mal. That was rude. That was straight up mean. We don't stand for that here. Do my nose. I've been practicing, but you know, I can't do really big magic. Not like your mom. I'm sorry. Whoa, what is happening? Are we as an audience supposed to think that this girl is ugly? This Gorgeous girl. I can't stand for this. Do her nose. Her nose is beautiful. Ugh. You know, she used magic on Cinderella, who wasn't even her real daughter. Doesn't she love you? I didn't like that interaction. I like her new hair, but she needs confidence building. Which Mr. Delay would give us 107.9 Amu. I forget. Always a mistake to underestimate. A villain? Don't make it again. Oh, yikes. Oh, don't, don't go. No, 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 no. Evie, no. If a strange boy you've never met sends you a note that says, meet me under the bleachers, do not go. This is a PSA to everybody. Do not go. No, stop. Why is Carlos afraid of dogs? Doesn't his mom love dogs? Like love them a little too much, you know? She loves them so much she wants to kill, kill them. Carlos, this is dude. He's the campus mutt. He doesn't look like a vicious rabbit pack animal. We're all having character development today. This is like the second day they've been there, right? I guess you guys have it pretty rough on the island. Yeah. Let's just say we don't get a lot of belly rubs. Oh, this kingdom is effed up, guys. Messed up. This prince better bring about some change. That's what I want to see. <sighs> Don't. You really nailed that chemistry problem today. You're going to have all the nerds in love with you. If I ask it or something is, it tells me. This is like a secret. Don't tell him. <sighs> I'd really like to talk, but... <sighs> I'm just swamped. Unless. Unless. If you could knock all my homework out along with yours. <gasps> I knew it. I mean, men are trash in general. And I'm sorry to say, teenage boys have a tendency to be trash. I'm sorry to all the teenage boys out there. Prove me wrong. Oh, he's manipulating her. Oh, oh, I'm so mad. Hey guys, I'm Lonnie. My mom's Mulan. They all have to introduce who their parents are. This is really funny. Guys, you can have identities outside of your parents. Whoa. There's the rest of that budget it was just that transition. I don't like the implication that you have to have long hair to be cool or beautiful. Both of these girls with shorter, like cute bobs now suddenly have like long curly hair. I mean, I say this knowing full well that that is how I like to do my hair. So I think it's pretty, but I don't like that. I don't like that. Is it true that we all get to go to your coronation? Yeah, the whole school goes. And your girlfriend? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, thanks. Oh, oh, the plan is brewing. Seduce him, Mal. I need a love spell. I didn't expect this. It says that we need one tier of human sadness. And this love potion gets the best reviews, so we have to follow it exactly. <laughs> Midnight snack, huh? What you guys making? Nothing special, just cookies. No, no, no! That's weird. You should not just do that. Probably has like a toad in it or something. Didn't your moms ever make you guys like chocolate chip cookies? And they're fresh from the oven with a big old glass of milk and she just makes you laugh and puts everything into perspective. And this is really sad. Even villains love their kids. Oh. Oh. That's heavy. Yeah, well, <laughs> big bummer, but we have to get these <laughs> into the oven, so thank Thanks, Lonnie. Bye. Sure, it starts with the hair. 
Next thing you know, it's the lips and the legs and the clothes, and then everybody looks good, and then where will I be? Audrey, you're awful. Uh, I just made a batch of cookies. Double chocolate chip. Do you want one? You're cautious. That's smart. Oh, well. More for me, I guess. No, no, hey. <laughs> right in the trap. I'm singing your name. This is so wrong. Uh, but I love it. Nice little block by Carlos. He does a little dance. <laughs> okay, I want to see Carlos's dance again. That was really funny. Bye, Carlos. He does a little dance. <laughs> I love it. 23 seconds left. I'm bored. Where's the rest of the music? I need songs. Did I mention that I'm in love with you? And did I mention Oh my god. And did I happen to say I dream of you every day? But let me shout it out loud. That's okay. He's got a good voice, but the reverb on his voice is a little weird. Like it doesn't sound like an echo. And so I wonder if they were trying to make it sound like he's singing into a mic and like make it sound more authentic, but it sounds really tinny, so I don't really understand it. But now look at what you've done, you got me down on my knees because my love for you is ridiculous. I never knew. Whoa, this is a like like full this. dance number. My love for you is ridiculous. My love is R-I-D-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. It's all right, this is a jam. That is a powerful cookie. Although he already liked her beforehand. We know. We, we saw it. I gotta know which way to go. Come on, give me a sign. You gotta okay. show me. The whole tourney team is getting into this. You know that song from like High School Musical 2? The I don't dance and I can't remember his name. But he's saying he doesn't dance because he plays basketball. These guys just immediately, they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we dance. And I love it. Oh, this is gonna be stuck in my head. Great. Like this, my love for you is ridiculous. So he just jumped on the horse mascot, which is clearly two people in a horse costume. Okay? Okay. Just take a second to understand the logistics of what's going on inside this horse costume. So the top half is a person standing. Okay? The bottom half is somebody bent over. So he is on someone's shoulders while they're bent over, like on their neck. Can you imagine how uncomfortable that was for them? Oh man, that's so funny. Why did they make him do that? Mom, will you go to the coronation with me? Yes! She's a yes! Uh, I feel like if she were talented like you and she knew how to sew and new beauty tips that she wouldn't need friends to make her feel better about herself. <laughs> I guess I am kind of talented. <laughs> you are definitely. Aww. <laughs> That's the energy we need from these friends. Thank you, Chad. It's <gasps> gratifying to see someone still respects the honor code. It will be my recommendation that you are expelled. The words that were about to come out of my mouth, guys, I will not lie, were Somebody needs to murder him. <laughs> I thought better of it. And then I thought, I'll just say it. Okay, no, he doesn't need to be murdered. But somebody has got to take care of him. What a piece of trash. Ugh, I'm so mad. Why is he so mean to her? She didn't do anything to you. She did your homework. I bet I can get an A on the There's next okay. test without the mirror. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get together and we'll hang out Yeah, here. let's get together. This kid is so cute. Still don't remember his name. My mom taught me how to apply blush before I could talk. Always use upward strokes. That feels toxic. And she, yeah, she's my mom. So I know she loves me in her own way. This is sad. This is horrible. Oh, I know he's under a love spell, but it's so cute. But they dressed up to go on a hike in the woods. Ready? Also, safety tip, never go on a hike in the woods as your first date with a guy that you just met. Never do that. Is this your first time eating a jelly donut? Is it bad? <laughs> you gotta, just uh, I mean, yeah, do this. Mm -hmm. Gone. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere, I guess. <laughs> that was so freaking adorable. Do you think they highlighted his hair for this movie specifically? Or do you think he highlights his hair just like that? Just wondering. But we're not automatically like that. We get to choose who we're gonna be. True. And right now, I can look into your eyes and I can tell you're not evil. Sing to us, Mal. A million thoughts in my head Should I let my heart keep 
listening Cause up till now I've walked the line Nothing lost but something missing I can't decide what oh, I hate this not the song I hate this like little flashback montage while she's singing what's the point I saw this footage 20 minutes ago I don't need to see it again Is this just a dream? Uh -oh. okay I loved that hold on got that top note right d5 guys love that she's mixing Is this just a dream? that's really beautiful uh -oh. If only I could read the signs in This was like four days ago. Max, two weeks. If only yeah, am I crazy? Okay, this is the highlight. This is the highlight so far in the episode. I really like this. That top note was the D5, but she's belting that. So you can hear the difference here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. That's a C5. But she's belting that, so it has more chest voice, bigger open vowel. Also, never knew Dove Cameron was so ripped. Do you see her arm muscles when she puts her arms out? Only anyone, my and this stuff I saw three minutes ago. I don't know what I'm feeling. Is this just a dream? Uh -oh. it's only, it's only. This is really pretty. I like this song a lot. Is he singing with her? Where is he? Kiss. Oh, um, Mal. I told you that I loved you. What about you? Do you love me? It's been five days. I don't know what love feels like. Maybe I can teach you. Okay, that's cute. Kiss! <laughs> They're stingy on Disney Channel with kisses. I bet they'll kiss at the end. Still doing tricks with eggplants? <laughs> I turned a pumpkin into a beautiful carriage. Still doing tricks with eggplants? I feel like that might have had another meaning. Am I wrong? Am I just broken from the internet? I don't know. Felt like it had another meaning, like from their college days or something. <laughs> Ultimately, proud of us for doing our best. Really? They won't be. No. I think we are definitely goners. Yeah, they're not good parents. I know it's time to say goodbye. So hard to let go. Mal. You tonight. And now we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. What in the pitch perfect is going on? It's not really an acapella group if you just hear people singing in unison and then there's like one guy going bow, bow, bow at <laughs> the bottom. No, it doesn't count. They can sing, sing, sing. They can dance, dance, dance. After all, miss, this is friends. Uh -huh. And a dinner here is never, never second best. I hate this. I'm skipping ahead. I hate it so much. How have you stayed so young? Queen Leah, it's okay. Maleficent is still on the island. This is her daughter, Mal. My daughter was raised by fairies because of your mother's curse. Mirror, mirror in my hand. Who's the biggest jerk in the land? What? Come on. That girl was out of Dad? 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 Evie did something to Uh-oh. It's bad news. This isn't their fault. No, son. It's yours. This movie is a masterclass on how to be a terrible parent and a terrible leader. My gosh. How long does she think that's gonna last? <laughs> Mal's just a bad girl infatuation. Yeah. I mean, he's never gonna make a villain a queen. <laughs> Fairy Godmother's daughter? What? I'm getting really mad. <laughs> Excuse me, who do you think you are? Do I look like I'm kidding? Let's grab that wand and blow this popsicle stand. Let's blow this popsicle stand? Who is she? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are these CGI'd people? Okay, they're not C Some of them have gotta be CGI'd. Look at that. Ooh, that does not look good. Looking 
radiant, but what is happening with Jane's hair? <laughs> she has a bob! What is wrong with having a bob? But I can't wait. No! Let's give the anti-love potion a few minutes to take effect. So then what, you've just been faking it since then? No, he really loves you. <gasps> I haven't been faking anything. That was cute. Prince needs a haircut. Like, she is way out of your league. Why is he walking like that? As usual, Evie looks fabulous. Oh, that crown is so ugly. Maybe this kingdom is bankrupt. Maybe that's actually what's going on. Mal, trust your instincts. It's okay. Listen to your heart. To bless our new king. <gasps> We're free! We're free! Child, what are you doing? If you will make me beautiful, I'll do it myself! Oh, well, isn't that a plot twist? Honey, you are beautiful. This is very dramatic. I told you so! Shut up, Audrey. Jeez. We want to do this. We have no choice, Ben. Our parents... Your parents made their choice. Now you make yours. He's right. Where are the guards? The knights? Every royal is in this room. My heart is telling me that we are not our parents. <laughs> I mean, stealing things doesn't make you happy. Turning and victory pizza with the team makes you happy. <laughs> and you, scratching dude's belly makes you happy, who would have thought? <laughs> and Evie. You do not have to play dumb to get a guy. You are so smart. Wow, am I gonna cry? Because Ben makes me really happy. <sighs> Kiss. I choose good, you guys. Your parents can't reach you here. That's what you think. Oh, man. <gasps> Maleficent. Oh, Who would've thought? Oh, that was pretty bad. CGI. Zippity <laughs> boppity. Oh. Falling in love is weak. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh god, that's not funny. what you want. Mom, have you ever once asked me what I want? I'm not you. Well, obviously. I've had years and years and years and years of practice being evil. You'll get there. No, I will not. And I really wish that you had never gotten there yourself. <sighs> Love is not weak. I agree with that. Love is not weak. Maybe good really is more powerful than evil. Oh, please. You're killing me. You all will regret me. Ooh, there's a dragon. I thought Maleficent had a dragon, not that she could turn into a dragon. It's a pretty cool CGI dragon. Leave, leave my friends alone. This is between you and me, mother. This is such a good movie. The strength of evil is good as not. Damn, her lashes are long. I mean, they're probably extensions, but they are really long. She shrank to the size of the love in her heart. That's why it's so itty bitty. Itty bitty. I like the fairy godmother's voice. You learn to love, so can she. And I believe this belongs to you. They're in love. Next time I rescue you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, let's not let there be a next time, okay? We took care of it, Prince. Don't worry. She's beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Mal. Inside and out. <laughs> Your mom got that right. I guess I did get pretty lucky in the mother department. Yeah, I guess so. Mal just turned her mom into a lizard. And that, I mean, that is some trauma that we need to talk about right now. Hey! Ow! Careful! It's my mom. <laughs> well, let's get this party started. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. So what happened? The barrier. Only Maleficent could get out? Tell me wanna get on your feet. Let's set it off and rock this beat. Dance till your heart is wild and free. 
Kenny Ortega outdid himself for this movie. The choreography is so good. That's a little weird. A little fiddler in the fiddler on the roof for me. I like this one. They need to kiss. The love story needs to kiss. Damn, Carlos can dance. I do like this song, but it is a little repetitive. Like I need more than this chorus. Kiss. Are you gonna do it? Oh. <laughs> I was having so much fun, I almost forgot. You didn't think this was the end of the story, did you? Oh, they knew. Disney knew this was gonna be a banger. They planned the sequel. Final thoughts. Loved it, really liked it, really enjoyed that. It was two hours long and I've been like loving it sitting right here. I liked the Rotten to the Core song. Like that was just such a jam. I liked the tone it set for the episode, not the episode, the movie. I liked that one. But maybe my favorite song would be If Only. Was that what? it was called that Mal sang in the middle. That was really pretty. I liked that. Dove Cameron's got a great voice, so I'm a fan. If you want to see me react to Descendants 2 or Descendants 3 or anything else from Disney Channel, please let me know in the comments. Thank you again to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Use the links in the description to check out the selection at GlassesUSA.com and find the perfect frames for you. Until next time, I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher, and now you're all my students. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, join my email list with the link in the description, and join my brand new singing course, Reclaim Your Voice. Okay, bye.